an AI-powered advertising campaign that can detect your emotional state in real time and tailor its message accordingly. By exploiting moments of vulnerability or insecurity, such a campaign could manipulate you into making purchases or supporting causes you might not otherwise consider. The potential for emotional manipulation extends far beyond advertising, seeping into realms of politics, social engineering, and even personal relationships. Furthermore, the increasing prevalence of AI companions and emotional support systems raises concerns about the dehumanizing potential of artificial emotional labor. While these technologies can provide comfort and companionship, particularly for individuals struggling with loneliness or isolation, they also risk creating a false sense of connection that undermines genuine human interaction. The danger lies in becoming overly reliant on AI for emotional support, substituting artificial companionship for the messy, unpredictable, but ultimately more rewarding complexities of human relationships. If we allow AI to become the primary providers of our emotional needs, we risk losing the very essence of what makes us human, our capacity for empathy, vulnerability, and authentic connection. The closer AI comes to mimicking human emotion, the more we may find ourselves confronted with the unsettling feeling of the uncanny valley. This term, coined by roboticist Masahiro Mori, describes the phenomenon where robots or AI systems that appear almost human evoke feelings of unease and even revulsion in human observers. This discomfort stems from the subtle discrepancies between the AI's near-perfect imitation and our innate understanding of what constitutes genuine human behavior. When an AI's emotional responses feel forced, insincere, or slightly off, it triggers an instinctive sense of distrust and aversion. This uncanny valley effect could pose a significant obstacle to the widespread acceptance of AI companions or emotional support systems. Moreover, the pursuit of creating AI that can experience love raises profound existential questions about the nature of consciousness and the meaning of life itself. If we succeed in creating machines capable of feeling love, what does that say about our own humanity? Does it diminish the significance of our own emotional experiences? Or does it elevate AI to a level of moral consideration previously reserved for sentient beings? These are not easy questions to grapple with, and there are no simple answers. The pursuit of artificial love forces us to confront the fundamental mysteries of consciousness, the nature of emotion, and the very essence of what it means to be human in a world increasingly shaped by our own creations.